first thing that we all agreed on right away was that it was going to be 50 years in the future. That was actually very, very important. Uh, you know, 100 years is very hard to predict. 50 years, you can still um, picture things that are out there. And I, and I recall early on, Glenn had come across some research in the Future Force Warrior Program, which is describing where the military was going in the next 20 to 30 years. And some really inspirational sort of research and ideas that I, I remember early on was sort of one of the springboards of like, yeah. hey, let's focus on research, let's figure out where the military is going, that led to the EXO. We set a couple rules. We said uh, one of the big ones was this is about science and not science fiction. And those are very important uh, goals, so we made sure that everything was based on research. Then we talked to you know, world-class production designers like Philip Ivey, who did District 9, to figure out how do you, how do you bring a believable and grounded near-future experience that doesn't feel like a science fiction film. Everything in the game that you see today is based off of either a piece of technology that exists or research that's happening. And in fact, most of it's way closer than 50 years. That helped us craft something that, I think, delivered on that believable Call of Duty experience. 